So you want to know what template matching is and how does it work. Let's say that I want to send this proposal to a client. In DocuSign, I'll just go to send an envelope and then I'll upload my proposal. Now the proposal is uploading and what's happening right now is called template matching. The app offers me to apply the template so that I don't need to add all my fields and drag them one by one each time I want to send a proposal to my client or add my recipient. So if I click on apply template, that's it, I'm done. And that is what template matching is all about. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how it works, how to turn it on, and how to make sure that your DocuSign app suggests the right template, and how to decide whether or not a template should show up in the list of potential matches. And if we haven't met before, my name is Sofian Saudi. I'm an ex-DocuSign implementation consultant and the founder of StorySign Consulting, where we help financial firms automate their sales and customer onboarding workflows. So if you're interested in building systems that scale to grow revenue or just need help with some uh, DocuSign assistance, you can find a link to book a strategy call with me using the link in the description of this video. But for now, let's start with how does template matching works. DocuSign will analyze the document that you're uploading into DocuSign and suggest potential matches based on the first and last 25 characters of the document you've uploaded and comparing it with the document that's inside the templates you've already uh, created in your account. Now let me show you how to turn it on. Click on your image and then go to my preferences. Here you'll find the template matching tab and this is where you can turn it off or on. You can also decide whether you want the templates to be applied automatically so um, the, the best match will get applied automatically or whether you want to have that pop-up that I just showed you before. I don't recommend automatically automatically applying matches unless you're do using DocuSign for one type of document only. So now that you've turned it on, how do you get DocuSign to match the right document with the right template? First, you can configure the matching sensitivity, which is by default set to 80%. This means that DocuSign will suggest template that have 80% of the first and last 25 characters matching with um, the first and last 25 characters of the document you've uploaded. And so you can adjust that setting if you want to have more potential matches or less. But if the first and last 25 characters of your documents are very similar, you're going to have multiple potential matches. You could potentially just increase the matching sensitivity level, so make it like 90%. But sometimes then your documents aren't going to match because if the document starts with, I don't know, the customer name, well, the first and last 24 characters is never going to match with what's in the template. So the second way to really improve your matches is by asking DocuSign to scan a specific area of your document rather than the first and last 25 characters. For this, you're going to need to do a little bit of setup in your DocuSign template. So if you're just starting with DocuSign and aren't really sure how templates work yet, I've prepared a cheat sheet that will help you to use and configure your templates. You can find the link in the description of this uh, video. Once you're in the template, you want to navigate to the tagging screen, which is where you have the field. So if you click on the gear icon and add IDR zone, you can then click on add RDI zone again and you can specify where you want, um, you can specify the area the DocuSign will scan to recognize what template it should match, uh, it should apply to your document. It will ignore the first and last 25 characters. So once you do that, you click on done and that's it. The problem with this is that if the length of the document that you're uploading varies from time to time, so if you include or remove extra paragraphs, then the zone that um, you've set up as the IDR won't match. And this is why I prefer the third option in principle is super simple. Since we know that DocuSign is going to look at the first and last 25 characters of the document you're uploading, why don't we add specific first and last 25 characters for each type of uh, template in our document so that we know that it's going to be a perfect match. And so the way we do this is by adding something in the header and in a footer of all the documents and the templates that you set up. And you wanna hide them by making the font color white. So for example, this could have this particular code. And so if you make this white, nobody will see this um, because you won't even have that red line that we can see here because your um, recipients will just see a PDF. And so you could even increase the sensitivity to 100% because now you know that 
um, you only want DocuSign to match this particular document with a specific template. So you might want to have a spreadsheet that you keep uh, to keep tr a track of all the different templates that you've got and the specific code for each template. Now, let me show you how you can decide whether or not a template should show up in the list of matching templates. The way you would do this is by looking at the template that you want to include or exclude from the list of uh, matches, click on the little drop down, and then you're either going to click on include or exclude. In the next video, I will share with you how you can share templates with other users of your account and how to manage that sharing process efficiently. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.